A pint of beer or a few drinks with friends on the weekend is a way of tossing away the weak stress for many. The drinks and the laughter around help us forget about all the worldly troubles. But wait right there. If you are aiming to build some muscles, you might want to reconsider chugging down those drinks. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel, the Institute of Nutrition and Fitness Sciences. I'm your host Bala and our today's video revolves around alcohol and muscle recovery. The troublesome thought of alcohol consumption hitting their muscle gain goals keep many from enjoying a drink or two. An effective nutrition plan undoubtedly has a great impact on one's fitness journey. But should such a plan not have any place for alcohol in it? Does alcohol really derail fitness enthusiasts, setting them back on muscle recovery? Watch on and find out the effects of alcohol on muscle gain and know if it's okay for you to raise a glass or two with your friends. Let us first start by reviewing the study carried out on alcohol and muscle gain. A systematic review of as many as 12 studies was done in order to understand the ramification of alcohol intake during recovery after resistance training. There were two key findings that emerged through this review. The findings were following a resistance workout, the biological, physical and performance measures were checked and observed to be unaffected even after the consumption of alcohol. But it was also noted that for long-term training adaptations, the consistent intake of alcohol could possibly be problematic. Now what can you take from the key findings of this review? Following the systematic review and the effect of alcohol on muscle gain, an important conclusion was drawn which stated that although a low dosage of less than 0.5 grams per kg may not seem to meaningfully impair muscle recovery, regular consumption of alcohol can cause an unfavorable impact on muscle protein synthesis, sleep quality and a number of important hormones. A person might even suffer from alcohol myopathy a condition occurring from long-term or heavy drinking that results in loss of muscle strength. So according to this, if a person consumes alcohol in low quantities once in a while, then it may not have a greater impact on muscle recovery. But don't cheer out loud just yet. Although low quantity alcohol may not affect muscle recovery, how do you know how much alcohol is there in your drink? Now let me help you out here. Take a look at the description box where you will find the alcohol by volume percentage in various drinks. Looking at these numbers, you will notice that beer has a lesser content of alcohol. However, it is important to note that although the alcohol by volume percentage is less in beer, it is a dense calorie source. One may argue that to build strong muscles, you are required to be in a calorie surplus and that pint of beer might help achieve it. But here's another factor that you might want to take into consideration, which is the snacks that you usually enjoy while drinking alcohol. One cannot deny that alcohol and minge eating on high calorie junk food go hand in hand. These side dishes have a high content of carbohydrates and fats and will possibly lead to higher fat gains. Also, people do tend to consume too much alcohol, which may prove to be a cause of concern. After taking all points into consideration, if you're still wondering whether you should indulge in lower quantities of alcohol, then here are some guidelines for you to follow. It is safe to consume 30 to 40 grams of alcohol per day once in a while and a maximum of 140 to 210 grams of alcohol per week. It is important to note that these limits may differ from individual to individual and bigger guys might be able to process more quantities of alcohol. But for an average person, the stated amounts of alcohol are safe for body composition. With all that said, many of you may feel elated at knowing that low dosage of alcohol would not impair our muscle recovery. But it is important for you to note that regular consumption of alcohol should be strictly prohibited as it does have a detrimental impact. Also, you must bear in mind that no significant impact does not imply that alcohol consumption isn't harmful. Considering the addictive nature of alcohol, it may prove to be a risk for your health and fitness. In fact, there is a study that shows heavier drinking to be associated with mortality risk. But when it comes to how alcohol affects your progress, then know that it has a bigger negative effect on body composition when in a calorie surplus and a mild to negligible effect when in a calorie deficit as long as we stick to the consumption guidelines stated earlier. While it would be great to simply not drink alcohol, you may go for it occasionally and not worry too much about its effect on muscle gains. That's it for today's video and I hope you found it insightful. 
If you did, then like, share and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And keep spreading the knowledge for we are on a mission to make the world healthy and fit.